Yo, what's up, kings and queens? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to try to do this really quick. Quick shout out to all the subscribers. I appreciate y'all for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the like button right now. I got some playlists, tutorials, good information, t-shirt stuff. And before we get into the video, this is the actual wash test off the print and cut. The print and cut heat transfer paper. I washed the regular straight out the dryer. I even dried it. Okay. I will wash this like a normal person will wash their clothes. I don't I don't do this. You know, I turn the shirt inside out and out pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time hang my shirts. Now I dry them in the dryer. But as you can see, it's still vibrant, it's still popping after the wash and dry this is sublimation this goes through the dryer and the wash this is 100% polyester shirt so you can still see a comparison okay now get into the video uh, if you saw the print and cut heat transfer paper I use this mat this is the Cricut mat and the Cameo 4 okay now, I'm going to show you the hack, how to cut it up. That way, if you're in need of a mat, say your cameo mat's not sticking no more, this is an option. Or if you have to go to the store or order online based on price and you just need to save a few dollars, sometimes the Cricut mat might be cheaper than the silver mat or vice versa. But if it's cheaper and you want the silver mat, then get the cameo mat, whatever. But if you want to do the hack and you just like the cricket mat for whatever reason, use this. You'll need a good ruler or T square. This is a real, it's not a crafting T square. This is something that men, men in the house, so to speak, uses on some other stuff. You need a good cutting tool. I'm using a box cutter. So if your blade is mad dusty and rusty, you got one of these, unscrew it, flip the blade. The blade should be clean unless you already did that kind of stuff. Or that piece of cutter roller. You can get it at the crafting stores, your local Joann's, Michael's, and, and it looks like a pizza roller cutter. I don't know what you call it, but I, I see them in videos. Also, if you do have a cutting mat, I will recommend you cut it over something that's not going to damage something, all right, like your glass or your table. I'm probably going to mention it again, but you know, I don't want no blame that I saw a video and I cut up everything. So just letting y'all know, let's get into the video. So, get your cricket mat. All right. And you may want to stand up for this because this is going to take a little pressure. So, what you want to do is take that off. And you're going to take off the sticky. The sticky protector over this. Find your number one. And you carefully want to match up the one square with the one square. Okay? The one square right here, you match up the one square right here. Just lay it over. Okay, it's a good thing that it's going to be sticky. But well, you want to make sure the cricket mat is on the bottom. The cricket mat's on the bottom, and you ain't going to see no white. So it's not going to be super perfect, but it's going to get, you can actually take your time 
and get it as much as you want and you see the split so we're going to be cutting off the axis blue part all right so once you get that down take your t-square Just the camera. So you're gonna take your T square, right? It's gonna stick. Don't worry about it. Take your T square and use your fingertips. And you want it align it to the edge of the cameo mat. Okay, you're gonna have this little blue line, this little blue plastic part of the cricket sticking out. And as you can see, you don't see no white because the cricket lines are white behind the squares. Okay. So once you get everything lined up, you know, it's good to stand up, push some pressure onto this, and the sticky part is helping the ruler, especially if you have a T-square, but even if you don't have a T-square, this part of the ruler, if you got a real thick ruler, it's gonna be sticking to the sticky mat portion. Then once you got it lined up, You gotta be careful because it rounds off, right? But once you got it lined up, just push some pressure. And then if it doesn't come off the first time, just, just hit it one more time. go then what you will do is apply the same method turn this over And like I said, see, you don't see no white. See the little white numbers, but that's different. And the only reason why you will cut the bottom side is because once this sticky part on the top gets used up, you can always flip it and put your vinyl or put your transfer paper or whatever you want to cut on that side right there. And you take your, your ruler. So it's real good to the edge. Now you can line it up. Now it lines up. So if you have a reg registration mark or whatever vinyl, you send it through the through the computer back to the cameo, you'd be good to go. So that's it for the video. Um, you know, again, if you're new, subscribe. I appreciate you. Quick hack. Y'all stay blessed and stay true. Catch you on the next video.